What's up, my people? It's Slim Cutter. Stay Fresh MVP. And I'm back with Cutter's Closet episode 15. Is this 15 or 16? I'm not sure. It should have been 25 right about now, though. But I broke my phone again, y'all. That's what. That's why I haven't been doing the videos and shit, man. I appreciate the concern, though. The homies killing the motherfucker DM and shit. You in jail, bro? What's good, bro? Where you at? Where the videos? Look, this is what I did to my old phone. Samson, I'm, I'm recording on the same one, though. Samson Galaxy 6.5. Screen like a 6.3 or 6.5. But anyway, I cracked the hell out of my phone for the 12th time. And uh, basically what I had to do was... Because, like, I love this phone. Like, I'm recording on the same one right now. It records in HD, great quality. You know what I'm saying? I love the phone. And I had, I, you know, I'm IT major and shit. I rooted my own shit. Like, I rooted my phone so it's, like, personally mine. Like, this motherfucker, it ain't even Samsung's no more. Like, it ain't even ATT. It's like, it's, like, my shit for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, I rooted it. And I got it to, like, where I want it. Want it. So, like... I had to order a whole new case, and like I, I, I ordered the whole new case, and I, um, and that shit come, had to come from like China, so that's why I took so long. It shit took like three weeks to come. Then I had to take it to the shop and had them put it in for me. You know what I'm saying? So like, basically all the internal shit is in my new one, what I'm recording on right now. You feel me? So that's what it was, y'all. I broke my phone. Me and phones just don't get along, man. I got a case on this one though. But yeah, I tore it up. <laughs> but that's what it was, y'all. But I'm back like I left something. What's up? I seen some uh extra stupid, funny-ass comments under my shit again. Fake profile-making-ass motherfuckers. Uh, had a, a couple questions that was like some good questions, though. Like one of them was like, uh, homie asked me, do I think, do I think True Religion will ever play out? Now listen, y'all. Shit only plays out when we allow this shit to play out. Especially like uh, black brands. And that's why black brands couldn't really get to the point like where they should have went. Like remember FUBU? When FUBU came out, everybody had on FUBU. I know I had the velour outfit. I had the I had all the FUBU. Carl Kanai, shit like that. Them black brands. And uh they didn't get to the point where they what well, they should have really been because motherfuckers are like that shit played out. Like let a motherfucker wear a FUBU shirt today. You gonna know, roast the shit out of his ass. You know what I'm saying? But like with True Religion, it's like the shit about True Religion is like True Religion already to the point where these motherfuckers got their own store. You see what I'm saying? Like they got an outlet store and retail store. So and it's still expensive, nigga. Ain't shit like you know what I'm saying? Even when the shit on sale is expensive. So. You might feel how I feel. Like I feel like I ran through True Religion. Like even though I still I buy it, I don't really check for it like that. But I feel like I ran through that shit, and I'm I'm really not hyped as I was maybe like year and a half, two years ago. So, but to me, it's still not played out though. You see what I'm saying? But it, it's just all on you. If you feel like that, that's just because you ran through that shit. And you like I'm off of it. Like really, I'm off of it. But when it comes to like jeans. True Religion still has like great quality. You see what I'm saying? Like great quality. And they still, they, I mean, they still nice to me. You see what I'm saying? And there's some shit that you can wear. Basically, it's some shit that you can wear. You can rock a true outfit and can't nobody roast your ass. You know what I'm saying? So can't nobody flame on you. So it'll get you by. Throw on a true outfit, some phones, some Jordans, and you good. Opposed to you throwing on a, a academic outfit. You're going to get your ass flamed. You feel me? So yeah, like. If you ran through it, I understand what you're saying, but it's not really played out. Because motherfuckers still going into the store paying $250, $300 for True Religion jeans, you feel me? They got, they got their own store. Like, Robin, I don't think Robin Jeans has their own store. Like, brands like that, Academics never had their own store. A Akua ain't got his own store. Shit like that. So, True Religion got his own store, bro. And motherfuckers still going in there daily. But, uh... Uh, about the other question, like, I had some motherfuckers, some motherfucker all under my comics box talking about, this nigga think he go hard. No, I ain't never say I go hard, my nigga. 
But you know I do though, right? Your girl know I do too, nigga. And your mama do too, nigga. Ask your mama. If this nigga go hard, she gonna be like, yes, baby. Is he go hard? Quit hating. You just gotta apply yourself, baby. Fuck, nigga. Stay up under my comment box with that dumb shit, nigga. Y'all ready for this review? Let's get into this shit, man. It's real light. It's real light. I ain't been really picking up too much, you know what I'm saying? I just been running that check up. I've been working and shit. You know what I'm saying? Saving my money like how you should. So I ain't really just got much, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff I got is for uh fall and winter time. Y'all know that's my seasons right there. I'm a fall I was born in May, but I'm a I'm like fall and winter time than my seasons right there, you feel me? I like to dress up. I like to go hard, you know what I'm saying? Step out the house real clean. And that's what I like to do. So a lot of shit you gonna see right here is like vests, hoodies, jackets, shit like that, jeans. And uh, we're gonna get into it. Let's do it. So, man, I'm gonna start down here. So, uh, I picked up, uh, y'all know I wear other shit too, like I said. You know, I, I, I'm usually with the Truy or the Polo, but I rock other stuff, like this nice 10 deep sweater. And, uh, did everything come off, BB? I think so. Except for this red shirt. I think I got everything off eBay except the red polo shirt that's up under that. I think that come from Marshalls or something. Or maybe I did get that off eBay. I'm not sure. But um, oh yeah. For uh for the homies who um for the homies who I said I was gonna send y'all some stuff, I ain't forget about y'all. It's just you know, like I said, my phone was fucked up, so I couldn't really check my DMs until like you know what I'm saying, like a week ago. So if I told y'all I was gonna send you some shit. Uh, just DM me to remind me and I got you But my niggas you gotta live in America though You can't be living in like The Philippines and shit Like motherfucker hit me up Living in the fucking Vietnam You know what I'm saying Over in Taiwan I was like man I'm not sending you I can't send you nothing over there man This fucking shipping gonna be $180 So if I told you I was gonna send you something um, And I showed it to you or whatever Just DM me to remind me I still got you You know what I'm saying I just fucked my phone up, so I, I, I wasn't able to get to you. But um, what I'm going to do is, I might throw it up next. I'm going to do a for sale slash giveaway video. So if you see some, for the shit that I'm going to have uh, for giveaway, if you like that shit, just DM me. I'm going to send that shit to you. And then I'm going to show y'all some shit I got for sale. Like um, when I went to Detroit, I found my old Louis belt and a Burberry belt that I don't wear. Um, like I really want to keep the Louis belt, but I had this belt forever. Like this was a belt, like it, it fit me like perfectly. I had this belt when I was like, uh, shit, like back in like shit, 2001, 2002. But I found it when I went up in Detroit. It was in the drawer and shit, and a Burberry belt that I don't want. I don't never wear it. I I, I bought this recently, but I don't never wear it. So I sell these too. Like, you know, I ain't gonna bust your head. Give me 150 a piece. But I'm gonna show these off correctly in the next video on the for sale and uh, the giveaway video. Uh, so, anyway, let's get into the review, man. So, anyway, like I said, I wear other shit. So, I picked up this 10 Deep sweater. Y'all know 10 Deep dope. It's just a camo sweater, sweatshirt, triple X. Moon. Shoot. All right, so check it out. This is that 10 deep. That bitch dope, ain't it, baby? Ooh, that bitch dope. So, yeah, I'm about to hop back on this 10 deep shit. I used to be on 10 deep and pinked off and real tough back in the day. Like, I sold a lot of that shit. I sold a, I sold all that pink dolphin shit. And uh, I pretty much gave the 10 deep shit away. But it got 10 deep, cult of individualities, and then 10 deep, the big ass X, 10 division on it. This motherfucker dope. I, I got it off eBay. I think I only came off, you know, the, the sweaters is Superman high. Like, this sweater in the store probably be like 150 or more. I paid like, I think I gave him like $60 for it on eBay. But it's dope. Great quality. 10D. 10D known for the good quality shit. That's why it's so high. But yeah, it's real nice. So I picked that up. Uh, and y'all know me, man. Like, when I start buying something, I got to have the whole line, like, you know, I got the red polo jacket with, like, the Indian on it, so I, I had to get the blue one, 
and then I had to get the, I got the black one on the way. I gotta have all of them. You know what I'm saying? I want the whole collection of the varsity jackets, the polo. You feel me? So I got I'm fucking retarded, man. I got problems, man. But I gotta have them all. So anyway, this is the polo Ralph Lauren varsity jacket. Got Captain on the front. Got the tiger right there. Just like the red one do, and the blue one with the red stripes. 67 on the sleeve, Polo Ralph Lauren, football. It's dope. Uh, got some shit on the back too. Got New York on the back, all right? In royal blue. But oh, this bitch dope. Uh, I think I only paid a bill for it. Fucking gave me a sweet deal. Paid a hundred for it. It's dope. Good quality. Just like the other ones, but I gotta have all of them. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Got a uh, picked up a Trui. Now this is one like remember when I was telling y'all in them other videos, be careful about that brand new without tags shit. This was a sweater, motherfucker was like, yeah, it's brand new without tags. I was like, yeah, okay, send me some pictures, send me some pictures. So he sent me some pictures. Pictures look good. Letters wasn't fuzzy or nothing. This is one of the older ones. Uh, so like yeah, when I'm looking for truly and shit, I check for the older shit, cause that new shit I'm just not fucking with. But the older shit, yeah, this is one of the like. So this is one of the first, first few hoodies. It's dope. Got the tiger right here, 56. The true. Got some shit on the back. Rockford Tigers, and I think I gave Buddy like maybe 75 bucks for that. It's dope. It's new. Just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make sure I ain't get finesse. Most motherfuckers talking about some shit is brand new without tags. You gotta be up on that shit so you don't get finesse. You feel me? I picked up a, a Truy jacket, True Religion, the older model. True Religion, uh, Jimmy jacket. Homeboy said it was new without tags. Uh, with the denim jackets, how you could tell it's like it's still real thick and crispy. It's not dry, it hasn't been dry cleaned or washed, so, yeah, it checked out, I, and he, I think I, I don't know, he, I think he bust my head on this, I think, I think I gave him, like, maybe a bill for it, maybe a bill for it, but he got 56 Rebels Motorcycle Club on it, <coughs> excuse me, it's one of the older ones, too, I think I, I think I pretty much got, like, all the older ones with the strip on it, like, you know, I got the one with the Indian, and I got the corduroy one. And I got like that Aztec colored one. And I got a couple other ones too. I don't know. But yeah, this motherfucker dope right here. And I had got the jeans to match it. Because the stone wash is dope. So I had got like the Chewy, the Chewy jeans to go with it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to wear that like a fit right here. Bitch, I'm busy. Phone buzzing like the people. Yeah. Alright, so look. Going to some more trolls. These pre-owned. I had got some more corduroys. I paid like thirty dollars for them. Y'all know what the corduroys. These are not the older corduroys. These are the micro stitch, the the micro, the micro corduroy. So it's like real stretchy, but these fit. Remember the first ones I had? I cut them in the shorts and shit. Uh, uh, shout out to Stevie, man. Stevie was joking in the DM talking about I cut them in the shorts. Win, yeah, nigga, win. You don't want to lose. I'm all about the win, homie. So I cop these Rickies. I got these new. Uh, I paid the low for them. Maybe like 60 bucks. They did some Ricky straights with the blue. They blue with the orange stitching. Hey, all right. I got some uh, some more straights. I don't even really like these. I might get these, put these in the, um, in the giveaway. If you want these, you can get them. They size 36, 34. So I'm gonna put these in the giveaway video. I'm not even gonna sell them. Just if you want them, I send I send them to you. I had got these on default. Cause I had got these. When I had got the jacket, I had ordered these to go with the jacket and they didn't match. But they still dope though. So I'm gonna keep these though. And they some Ricky Straits from the outlet. And they dope. They clean. Ain't nothing uh I don't think it's nothing too special on these. Just a little bit of fading. Like, yeah, them bitches dope. But yeah, that's what I'm saying about the Truy. Like, Truy's still like a nice ass brand. Like, yo, they shit is still dope. And when it come to me, like, I'll I'll pick up some like a cool jeans or like some uh, Levi's. I still fuck with the Levi's, but 
when it comes to like quality and the fit, I'm gonna go with Truy because you know what I'm saying. That's just where I'm at with it. But I'm really over this shit though. But when it, when it, if I need more jeans, like I obviously needed some jeans. So I've been I've been giving a lot of shit away. Um, I'm gonna run with the Truy. I picked up a, a polo hoodie. I got that brand new. This motherfucker, I pay like. I don't know, I think I paid like 50 for it. You can't really get the polo uh, hoodies for that low. And the sellers don't be going either. They be like, hell no. Nah. I be like, man, sell me that for 30. They be like, hell no. Nah. What the fuck you mean? Little polo. Collar shirt. Short sleeves. It's just some, it's size. Right. It's just some shit I'm gonna rock on a jacket or something. It's cool. This was the one I was saying. I don't think I got it off eBay. Where the fuck did I get this from? I don't know. I probably did get it off eBay, but it's custom fit. Uh, 2X. Got the, you know, the fitted sleeves and everything. It's dope. Got the little plaque over here. Paulo Ralph Lauren. Two stripes on them. Uh, got some shit on the back. What it got on the back? Oh, the number seven. This bitch nice, huh? I got another one like this. It's blue, though. I'm going to throw in the, uh, the giveaway video. I got this. I picked up an a outdoor life. Outdoor life vest. Just to go with this though. But I'm going to rock this under this. You know what I'm saying? So it's straight. It got like the quilted. The quilted up here with the, the brown suede on them. It's dope. Like I... I never heard of outdoor life, but I was on there just looking, and I was like, ooh, that bitch dope. I'm picking it up, and I only paid like $20 for this motherfucker, and it's super warm. It's like, I, I guess it's made for like hunting, you know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucker about to go hunting, put this on, you're going to be warm out there in the woods or whatever you like to do. So, yeah, so I picked that up. It's real nice. I only paid like 20 bucks for it, and like I said, I got that to wear over this. This is, uh, my nigga D was flaming me. Talking about this a redneck shirt. Nigga, this a hunting shirt. It's 10 deep. Hey, nigga, you about to look like a redneck. Fuck, I'm not, nigga. I'm about to be fresh, nigga. You know, you know, I know how to finesse this shit, nigga. So, look. This is what he got on the sleeve. He got some shit. 10 deep shit over here. Some 10 deep shit over here. And check it out. Man, that bitch dope. I'm about to go stupid hard. I'm going to rock this with the brown Tims or the green Tims, the leather ones, with the vest, cargos. That bitch going to be dope. I'm going to take a picture when I when I flex that. They're going to be like, oh, he killed it. Yeah, he did. He killed that shit. Look, I got picked up another 10D. Like I said, I'm about to hop back on the 10D. Uh, I just got some uh, the Olympic Jordans, not the new ones. I just copped the, the sixes. Which they look like the Carmines, but they got navy blue right there instead of red. Yeah, so they should have been here yesterday, so they'll be here Monday. I'll do a review on them, but everybody know what the fucking Olympic sixes look like, right? So anyway, I picked up this, uh, they call it a rugby, but it's not a rugby. It's just a V-neck t-shirt. But it got I win, you lose right there. The 10 deep. Got the wings on there right there in navy blue and white. Got 10 on the back. So I'm, more, I'm pretty much, I copped the Olympic sixes for this and a couple other pieces over here. Get into those pieces. This motherfucker dope. I really like this shirt, man. I'm about to get back on my 10 deep shit. So anyway, I picked this up too. The Polo Sport, Ralph Lauren. Got USA. It's some Olympic shit right here. I really like this because it had that vintage, uh, anything like this, got the colors like that in the V, that's some old school type shit, that's why I really liked it, and uh, it got USA on the back, some stripes on the sleeve, it's real dope, I got it off eBay, uh, the seller bust my head, uh, shit, I paid like $65, $70 for this jacket, but it's dope though, it fit real nice. And I'm a rocky. 
I picked up another jacket. Like I said, like y'all like this nigga got like 80 jackets. Look, the mandatory minimum, the mandatory minimum for jackets is 10. If you gonna come out the house with this winter, you better you gotta have more than 10 jackets, man. You gotta have 10. If you ain't got 10 jackets, don't come out the house. So you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And like I said, I, when I start getting shit, I gotta have the whole collections and shit, man. That's just how I rock, man. So anyway, I've been looking for this one for the longest. For the longest. This is one of the varsity ones that came out with the red one that I got. It's the Indian chief head and the, and the blue one and the black one. Uh, uh, my black one on the white. But this is the navy blue with the uh, the varsity P. Ooh, that bitch butter. I was, I've been looking for this one for the longest. I finally got it. They got the little leather tabs on them. I bit dope, ain't it? That bit dope. Got the uh the khaki print on the inside. I ain't shit on the back. That motherfucker butter, man. I paid like 89 for that one. Uh he got one right here too. Nah, I had got this one off eBay too. And I paid I didn't pay that much for this one. Not as much as I paid for the other Olympic one. I think I paid like 40 for this one. But it's USA too. And it's considered big pony. Like this is just like a little bit bigger than the regular pony. Like you know what I'm saying? The big pony would be a little bit bigger. But it's considered big pony. Let me try to open it up for y'all. So y'all see the tag. So nigga be like, that's fool. That's medium sized ass pony. Nah, this ain't fool, homie. Look. So I got the Olympic in there, Paula Ralph Lauren. Got the Olympic stamp or whatever in there. This is the thing that really tripped me out. I ain't peeped this until it came. It say US Paralympics. Have y'all ever seen handicapped people playing basketball or volleyball? Man, you gotta watch that shit on weed. Man, that shit crazy. Like, they be going hard in the wheelchair and shit. Like, motherfucker be dribbling the ball in the wheelchair, running into the other wheelchair. Watch the Paralympic. Go on YouTube. Watch Paralympics on weed. You gonna be dying. Motherfucker playing volleyball with one arm and shit. Like, what the fuck? And they going hard. Like, they, they trying to win. For real. That shit crazy. Shout out to them motherfuckers, man. Anyway, this got... This got USA 10 on the back. American flag. That bit dope, baby. Yeah, that bit dope, baby. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... I'm gonna rock the Olympic... The Olympic Jays with this too. That's what I got the Olympic Jays for. Uh, what the fuck else I got? I think I missed some shit. I'll put it in the next video. So, anyway, uh, like I said, if you want the Burberry, I'll do them right now. So, I had this Burberry belt for a minute. Authentic. Uh, it's a 90. It's a hundred. It fit like waist 36. Uh, if you want it, man, I'll I take 150 for it. You know what I'm saying? Authentic. If you want the Louis belt, I'll take 150 for it. Authentic. The Louis belt is a 90. Uh, I had this for a minute, but it's still in like spectacular condition. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker's immaculate. This is one of the oldest, the older models, one of the old school ones. But it's authentic and it's dope. You will never ever get a Louis belt for $150. So if you want it, DM me or the Burberry belt. You will never get one of these for $150 in this condition. Like like I said, I only wore the Burberry belt like, like maybe less than 10 times. You know what I'm saying? So if you want it, just DM me, holla at me. I'll let you get it for $150. You know what I'm saying? Just PayPal me however you want to do it. Um... I did pick up some, some shoes. Show y'all these, man. Y'all ain't gonna believe how much I paid for these right here. Brand new. I paid $150 for these. Niggas like, what? $150 for them. Now, to me, they just red phones. To you, they that might be the Octobers, the red Octobers, or the the red moons, whatever y'all hype bees like to call shoes. I don't know. They just red foams to me. Anyway, these bitches dope. 
the bid, I was bidding on them. And the bid never uh went over 100. Like, I was I was ready to pay like 200 for them. When I seen them, so I was looking at the buy now shoes, and the buy now was their shit. They was getting up into like 350. So I was like, shit, man, I'm ready. I'll pay 200 for them. But the bid never went over 150, you know what I'm saying? So, brand new. I've been, I wore them a couple times already, but brand new. Uh, $150. You can't beat that. You bitches dope. You know what I'm saying? Got the air. All of that. All of that. So, yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to throw up the uh, for sale and giveaway video next. Or it might be tomorrow. But um, I got a few things I'm, I'm going to give away. And I got a few things that's for sale. Like these Cartier's still for scale, for sale. Uh, uh, shout out to Finesse Guru. He bought the last Cartier's from me. I still got these for sale. I got to have a thousand for them, man. I've been getting offers and shit. Motherfuckers talking about 700. I'm saying 650. I can't do that. I got to have a thousand for them. I can't lose. You know what I'm saying? Like... The prices y'all shooting is pretty much what I got them for. Uh, and they pristine. These bitches is immaculate. You know what I'm saying? The condition on these is great. The wood is great. So I got to have a band for them. I need a thousand for these. So, uh, But yeah, shout out to Finesse Guru. He bought the last pair from me. And boy, you live up to your motherfucking name. Like He tried to take me down through there. He, I, he was like, how much you want for the A's? I'm like, nigga... You see the video, you heard me say 500. He like, man, I got 275. Man, what? So anyway, we settled on like 425, something like that. Shout out to you, man. Like, god damn, he, he tried to get me. And you and he you from Ohio, so you know what's up with the Cartiers, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to you for buying the other ones. Uh I got another pair that I got, and they about to be for sale. I'm, I'm having lenses put in them, some yellow lenses. They're going to be dope. I'm going to have those for sale in a minute. I got to have 500 for those. Um, but, yeah, that's the little pickup. Something light, real light, you know, for the fall and winter time. Is you winter ready? Is you fall ready? I'm ready. I got my jackets on deck. I might just do a jackets recap with all my jackets and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Polo shirt. The Woodland 10 Deep. That bitch dope, man. Vest and shit. 10 Deep. About to hop back on that 10 Deep. Picked up a few pair of trolls. Paralympic. The pair of, I'm not playing, y'all. Go watch the Paralympics. Watch that shit on some Reggies. Y'all gonna be rolling. Y'all gonna be like, wait, this shit crazy. They going hard in wheelchair, man. For real. Polo. Picked up. Polo hoodie, some real light, real light, not too many pieces, not too many, true religion corduroys, like I said, if y'all want those other ones, what else other ones that, I'm gonna get those away, if you want them, these is not them, I don't know what I, oh here they go, yeah these right here, if you want these, you can get them, they 36, 34, I got you, picked up the Rockford, the Rockford Truy sweater, uh, the blue varsity jacket. Now I got all of them. I got the red chief, Indian chief, the blue one. Uh, I got this one. I got the the navy blue one. Now I got the black one on the way. I'm gonna do a, a video on that or a review on that. I'm about since I got my phone back. I'm about to drop the cutters. Words to the wise. I switched the floor. But ain't gonna be words to the wisdom. Words of wisdom. It's about to be words to the wise. You feel me? It's about to be dope. I'm about to drop that shit for y'all. And I'm going to start doing some different shit. When I'm out shopping, when I'm out in the mall, I'm going to record that y'all see how I get down. I do a lot of online shopping, though. I like to shop online because you can get shit that ain't nobody else got. See what I'm saying? Like, when you start going to the mall and to the stores, you pretty much about to be buying the same shit everybody else buying. So that's why I like to shop online. But I'm about to start switching some shit up. When I'm out and about, I'm going to start... Shooting some movies and we'll start doing it like that. Some real, real live entertainment, some real, real, real fresh type shit. Shout out to all my subscribers, all my 
my, my homeboys on Instagram. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. I don't really care the fuck about a like. If you're going to subscribe, fuck with me. Uh, what I do care about is the shares. How I go from, I went from a hundred that my... A couple of my videos got like 180,000 views. How I go from 180,000 views to 500? What the fuck is going on? Share my videos. Y'all fuck, fuck with my videos. Share that shit. Share it to Pinterest, Facebook, Tumblr, everywhere. Share it, nigga. Share that shit. Like and subscribe. I fuck with y'all for fucking with me. Uh, Like I said, for the ones who I said, um, I'm going to send y'all some shit. DM me. Holla at me. If you want the belts, DM me. Holla at me. Uh, I'm about to throw that the for sale and giveaway video up. I might throw it up now or I might, I don't know, I might do it in, y'all know it when I throw it up. I'm going to shoot the video on Instagram and let y'all know when it's up. But it's Slim Cutter, man. Stay fresh MVP. And I'm out. Get your money.